worldwide. Bonjour everybody, I'm TG and welcome back to the House of Sleaze. Today I'm making an update to my favorite little troll build, Chernobyl Daniel. With September 3rd's patch, there's some cheeky cheeky little abilities that make this build a little more fucky. It's like Neobards heard me and they said, yes, yes be an asshole, we like what you're doing. So let's take a quick look. To start things off with, for Mr. X, I'm going with Windup. There's nothing I'd rather run. I just love Windup so much. It's so satisfying getting a nice 1800 or 2k hit off on the survivors. Next, we are using Unnatural Selection. So this is going to increase the range of Detonator Self-Destruct, the Jester Screech, and make the dealer's Claw Slash take more Umbrella credits. This is very, very important because the only creatures we're going to be using are those ones. Now, next... You can go Endurance or Invincibility. I'm actually going to show you guys matches using both, but overall, I prefer Invincible because Detonators are really key to making this work. So for his exclusive cards, surprisingly, I'm actually not going with the Berserker Detonator because I'm using Viral Mod Berserker. I instead want Overclock and that nice little boost to my bio energy. And I'm using Caltrops because they are my all-time favorite. It's really, really useful whenever you get to area three. Put these down in front of a bio core or in key places. Now onto his equipment. I'm using Beta Strain 2 and 1, Razor Claws 3, and Resilient Skin 2. Now the reason I'm using Beta Strain is because even if you're running Invincible, a lot of the times you're going to be in a creature whenever that Invincible wears off because you're not going to be able to get to the survivors. And it's more important, not so much on the detonators, but actually on the dealers and the jester because you really want to get the claw swipe and you really want to get the screech off but if you're using endurance you can really swap these out for anything you find useful perhaps the implant chip a little more health or even more damage it's totally up to you and how you feel and how you play so now let's take a look at his deck and it's quite interesting actually i'm using both the detonator and infectious detonator the dealer and the jester like i've said and i'm also using both quick draw and clone because I want these cards as often as possible because they are key to making this deck work. I'm also using a Tracker Mine just to do a little bit more damage when I can and the Infectious Vapor. For my mods, I'm using Efficiency Mod Creatures and Viral Mod Berserker. That means all my bad boys are going to come out nice and fast and nice and cheap. This build has no problem with economy. Now if you wanted to, you can actually switch out Clone or Quick Draw for the energy booster creatures. That way you can get your creatures out even cheaper. But that one's completely up to you. So that's the build and like I said, I'm gonna show you guys two matches I played earlier using it. One with Invincible and one without. They are a lot of fun and this is actually one of my favorite builds. Enjoy. Okay, pretty solid looking team here but I hope they are ready to get burst in the face with my girthy goodness. And we are playing on Abandoned Park, which is probably my favorite map after the new Bumusement Park. Land up for you. We have death, destruction, disease, all the fun things that the mother... Now I'm using my typical Daniel setup. Yeah. Got a creature behind every door. But this build, more than other Daniel builds, really um, does better whenever you have a specific preset for it, using... You know, these creatures, the detonator, the dealer, and the jester. How much do you believe that I would put that key in there with you? And you are trapped forever. Oh, come on, open the door. Jeez. Well, I wasted that invincible. So using this build, if you are lucky and all the stars align, you can jump into a creature, get all your damage out with invincible, and then jump out of it, and then wait five seconds to jump back in if they don't kill it. So they made short work of that one, but I got me some Valerie. I'm okay with that. Now Jill's up here being a Jill, forging the path on her own. You don't want to do that against a Daniel. Just gonna place this fat boy here. And wait a few moments, there we go. As soon as you hear those bullets start coming out, well, that's when you want to jump into your detonator. Nice try, Jill. Not good enough. 
And there is more fun ahead. Fun for me, at least. I don't know what accent that was, but it certainly wasn't French. Ah, sorry, Valerie, you can't save her with a mup. Let's just get a nice little screech going. You can always tell a Daniel is using this build whenever he's using a Jester, because the screech animation, you'll see it has more shockwaves in it. So you'll know that's what you got to keep an eye out for. Oh, Valerie. Just abused you. You have no Gotta find more ammo. January doing with that rocket launcher. Uh, looks like Martin's using flashy things too. Of course. Why wouldn't he, right? This really is not a very efficient way of ending your life. Oh, nice. Yeah, that's what we want. <laughs> and January just keeps pulling out her rocket launcher. She's threatening me. She's coming on with a threatening manner. Okay, you found it. I will now throw you about. This really is not a Alright, here I come, Marty. Oh, come on, right through him. Oh, oh, I'm gonna get to jump back in. I am. <laughs> Can I do one more? No, uh, that would have been legendary. He feels no pain. Oh, didn't see Martin coming up behind me. Could have got a few swipes. No shotguns, so that is good news so far. But I got a feeling they'll be buying them now. Oh, come on. You kids are running out of time. Who are we missing here? Oh, Jill, of course. Why'd I even have to ask? If luck were not a cheap myth, you would still not have any. Alright, that's a W. And now they get to contend with my boy, Mr. X. And, you know, since Mr. X sucks so hard, I really think wind-up is the way to go. If you're using a different variant, you should really look into wind-up, because he's not gonna get a pulverize off, that's just not gonna happen. And he can get stunned way too easily to really get off big damage with Hook Punch. His Bull Rush just seems like the way to go. But that's just my humble opinion. So we are doing some front door fuckery. Oh, sorry, Martin. Sorry. Oh, wow. Wow. A little bit of a waste. Okay. Here he comes. For a brutal game. <laughs> Didn't quite get the length of time I wanted, but it was too sweet. Couldn't let her go. I guess there's really no point of ramparting this. The rocket launcher is just so weak now. It's good for CC, but that's about it. Have a first aid kit for your boo boo. All right, who's next? Should be able to get one more of them. 20 seconds. Let's go for January. Oh, perfect. Excellent, look at that, 2100. That's why you got a bull rush, kids. Oh no. Pretty much now, the only time you ever want to pulverize is whenever you're going one-on-one. -on -one. Oh, alright. Well, they're nowhere near, so... Guess I'm gonna bring the battle to them. If I can get over there. Oh, don't leave. Yeah, keep killing things. <laughs> Let's try that one again. Oh, 
Oh, jelly, jelly, jill. Excellent. Now, what's really fun to do with Yurik is to jump in and out of him and just keep the invincibility coming up because he has so much health. If you couple that with regen, which obviously I'm not doing right now, you can just make this boy last. I'm watching you, Jill. Oh, I don't know how that flash didn't get me. Oh no, they're gonna get him. They're gonna get him. Alright, clearly that was my own hubris. Just decided to have a little bit of fun, but... Let's see if we can stop him from getting to Area 3. Now, where is January gonna go? Hmm, going to the exit first, eh? With this amount of time, that is not the choice I would make. <laughs> oh no, I need my detonators. Oh, I stayed on that one too long. Now, yeah, not a point. I'll just load up back here. This is the detonator. Da -da. Man, there's really no point of the light in this room because I can just turn it off right outside the door. Oh yeah, look at the range on that, that's great. Oh, give me that time. Ah. Excellent. Oh no, they're gonna take me down. They're gonna take me down. Oh no! <laughs> no! If I jumped off that camera, it would have been over. Would you like to explain how the fuck you have done this? Fucking shit! You fucking shit field pus bags. Oh. This is gonna be close. Whoa, look at that range. Oh well. Ah. Oh well. I made him work for it. Alright, maybe I'll try a little less fucking around in Area 3. Because the last thing I want is for them to actually win here. There is no shame in accepting your loss now. It was weird there with no music. So they're all nice and infecty too. That's what I really like about this build. You know, it's probably safer to just not place anything. put my Jesser friend over here and using the build that Jesser will be able to hit them from around the corner there the perfect machine for this beautiful <laughs> well that is that they did quite well to come back. It was really lasted a little bit longer because I was just being an asshole. <laughs> oh, downtown, you're breaking my balls. I guess Daniel's probably the best choice though. Not looking forward to that, Becca. Bonjour. The wheels of and of course Martin he is always a bastard. Let us see if you will walk away or not. Man, look how slow these guys get up. It's because of their girth. No pain. The perfect machine for this endeavor. Let's give him a little surprise. Oh. <laughs> he 
You know, I'd rather they waste that right at the beginning. Oh, probably should have locked this door, actually. I know better than to go in there. Oh, speedy little Martin. Ooh. I believe I dodged past that uh, makeshift mine. Good Sometimes it's easiest just to do things yourself. You understand. Always love doing that right behind the door. Oh, Martin, shouldn't have gone that way, buddy. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and assume that Martin is using flashy things. Come on, waste that ammo. Oh, Becca. That pick is taking a lot of damage. This really is not a very efficient way of ending your life. Oh no, I can't allow that. We oui, that could be a team. Oh oh no. Yes, he is using flashy things. Taking out this nice try, but that will not make you much safer. We can go! If luck were not a cheap myth. Well, they're finishing off with a lot of time. Fucking shit field bus bags! About five and a half minutes in downtown, I'll take it. Fate has more cards to turn now, where or oh, where has Yurik spawned? <laughs> ah, that's unfortunate. I can't believe I still don't have my efficiency mod. That's hurting me. There we go, finally. Now I should have time to infect everything. Time to end this, do you not think? There we go. He feels no pain. Doors locked. The perfect machine for this Probably should have jumped into the de detonator. Goddamn shock mines. Well, shit. That did not go well. This endurance is letting me down because my creatures don't really have enough health. What? How did she get stunned all the way in there? Ooh, three swipes. Now I should have probably just backpedaled and defended the last room. Wow, they were far away. It shows how far that range is. That's pretty crazy. So, I actually want to place Mr. X far away so I can get a nice bull rush. Alright. Oh man, I should have seen that coming. Well, this one's locked. You know, with Mr. X, it's almost like if you get stunned off the bat or something like that, Half the time I'm like, oh my god, should I just fucking exit out? <laughs> oh, beautiful. Oh, Becca's still over there, okay. Oh, we gotta be careful here, because she can definitely kill Mr. X. Oh no, registered the sounds, but didn't do the damage. 
<laughs> Whoa, what was that? Was that 2800? Wow. There's no need to ever do that much damage. You know what? I should probably just focus on taking Valerie down here. Forget about the terminal. It will pass. All things pass with that. You're gonna love this. Ugh. Could be worse, I guess. Oh, thank you, Jester. Oh, Martin didn't go for the terminal. Well, that worked out great. Oh, January. This looks familiar. Oh, where'd our team go? Oh, well. Now, maybe, just maybe, I can get Valerie back here, too. So many of you left. Small food for the undead in this area. We get them hungry for you. Now, I want to draw back to this jester. Oh, well. I oh, made up some decent time there. Oh, we should have put that detonator down. Sometimes I just, just get too excited. Oh man, that Jester is doing some fucking work. So let's see if I can emulate that. Probably not with one sad little clown, but... Oh my. Just so many flash grenades. Is that five so far, I think? And they're running full shotguns and just not running out of economy. Well, yeah, I guess wasting your bullets is good, but doesn't seem like it even matters. They just have so many. I see, they've had enough. Well, about four minutes going into Area 3. I think I should be able to pull something out of my hat. But man, these shotguns. It hurts. It hurts my feelings. Yeah, Area 3 of Downtown, I absolutely dread. I hate it even as Daniel. There's just. There's nowhere to hide, you know? There's so many open stretches that the survivors can just take your creatures down from a distance. Yeah, I want to get Mr. Ox out here early so I can get him another time or two. Time to end this, do you not think? What? Why is there a liquor in this preset? I must have forgotten to delete that. <laughs> Okay, here we go. Now, Martin can still flash up there, so he probably will. Uh, yep. And they had a flash anyway, just so you know. Why not? <laughs> they got a fucking enough of them. Why not just double? Oh, January, that's the wrong place to go. Look at that, there's another one. That's seven? Okay, at least that was just a grenade. But the point is, that's that's nine explosives now from this team. There you go. Fuck you. That's how I feel about that. I guess the one benefit here is 
Mr. X does great on straightaways. Yeah. Suffer for your fucking crimes. Alright. That made me feel a little bit better. And looks like that will be that, because there ain't no way Martin's getting over here and taking this core down. Oh, I call bullshit on that. Where was she even? Oh, I see Martin's quit out, eh? He couldn't wait the 10 seconds. Oh well, spoil sport. So that's Chernobyl Dan 2.0. This build is a hell of a lot of fun. I hope you guys check it out. It's actually pretty viable these days. And as always, I'm TG. If you like what you saw, you know what to do. If not, eh. keep it sleazy.